Hoy yo voy a enseñar más que predicar. ¿Está bien con ustedes? Amen. It's called, uh, the series is called Ghost Stories. Y la, el, es, lo que voy a enseñar hoy se llama Historia de... Uh, a not so scary series about the Holy Spirit's role in our lives. Y no está tan miedoso acerca del Espíritu, del rol del Espíritu Santo en nuestras vidas. And today is the last sermon in that series. Y hoy es el último sermón en esta serie. The, uh, you can go on online and look at the last two sermon weeks and you can catch up with the, uh, the first two sermons. De la iglesia y ver los dos estudios que yo vi anteriormente. But today we're going to uh, talk about a divine reminder. Y hoy vamos a hablar acerca de el recuerdo divino. And if you have your Bibles, y si usted tiene la Biblia con usted, or your phones, or iPads, please Amen. turn to John Por chapter 14. Juan 14 verse 25 through 27. And I'm going to read verse 25 through 27. Well, it says, All this I spoke while still with you, but that the Counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said, I have said to you. Verse 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Todo esto lo digo ahora que estoy con ustedes. Pero el Consolador, el Espíritu Santo, el que el Padre enviará en mi nombre, les enseñará todas las cosas, y les hará recordar, recordar todo lo que les he dicho. Y la paz les dejo, y mi paz les doy. Yo no se la doy a ustedes como la da el mundo. No se angustien ni se, ni se acobarden. We'll see today Miraremos hoy that the Holy Spirit has a specific role in your life. El Espíritu Santo tiene un punto específico en su propia vida. As we've been sharing over the last few weeks, y como yo he compartido en las clases we know that the Holy Spirit y sabemos que el Espíritu was Santo given to us se nos dio a nosotros on the day of Pentecost. en el día de Pentecostés. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says in the last days, dice en los últimos días, I'll pour out my spirit yo derramaré de mi Espíritu on all Flesh, en toda carne, which means all people. Y eso quiere decir a toda la gente, your young people, a los jóvenes, and your old people, y a los viejos. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, on your children, your they will dream dreams. Young people dream dreams. Y dice que los jóvenes soñarán sueños. And your old people will have visions. Y los viejos dice verán visiones. So that means it's happening today, right? Eso quiere decir que está sucediendo hoy. Everybody is dreaming. Todos están soñando sueños y todos están teniendo visiones. Y el Espíritu Santo is to you. Y siempre está hablando a usted. Can you say amen? Puede decir amen. amen. The Holy Spirit el Espíritu Santo wants to be quiere ser your administrative assistant. su asistente administrativo. Amen. amen. He wants to help you él quiere ayudarle every day. cada día. Every second of the day. Cada segundo de su Every día. thought he wants to be in. Cada pensamiento que usted piensa. The Holy Spirit is there. El Espíritu Santo está ahí. And I hope today. Y espero que hoy. After we're finished. Cuando terminemos. That we'll realize. Que usted se dará cuenta. That the purpose of the Holy Spirit. Que el propósito del Espíritu Santo. Is to remind you. Es de recordarle. Of the things. De las cosas. That God has done for you. Que él ha hecho por usted. The Holy Spirit. El Espíritu Santo is not here no está aquí to just convict you solo para convencerlo of your sin. De sus pecados. Really, if you think about it, Verdaderamente, si usted lo piensa the bien, Holy Spirit's responsibility de la responsabilidad del Espíritu given Santo, by Father God dado por el Padre Dios, is to remind you es para of everything de todas las cosas that Jesus said que Jesucristo dijo, and what Jesus done. Y que es lo que Jesús hizo. Amen. 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 What do you, well, let me go on. The first thing that the Holy Spirit does. Well, let me just say, let's, let me just back up a little bit. I'm so excited about this. Estoy, me siento contento acerca de este tema. How many ever forget? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han olvidado? Something. Algo. 
Ready to get everybody. Eso, man, we all forget. Siempre nos olvidamos de nosotros. Have you ever forgotten your name? Usted se le ha olvidado su nombre. Bueno? Your address. Su su dirección. Your phone number. Su su teléfono. How does that happen? ¿Cómo pasa eso? How about you ever forget your birthday? Usted se le ha olvidado de su fecha de nacimiento. Your, what, your anniversary, man. O su aniversario. Don't forget your anniversary, guys. Okay. No, de aniversario, hombres. But our human brain. Pero la, la, la mente humana was designed by God. Fue diseñada por Dios. So do you think God created our brain? Dios cree que creó nuestros nuestro cerebro to forget. Para que nos olvidemos. Think about it for a minute. Piense acerca de eso por un minuto. What if you had to remember over and over the tragedies that you went through? ¿Qué pasaría si usted tenía que recordar todas las tragedias que usted ha pasado? The pain of sin that's been in your life. El pecado que ha habido en sus vidas. The disappointments that you've been through. Eh, cuando usted no se ha sentido bien. It's nice to forget that. Es fácil olvidar esas cosas, ¿no? Yeah. ¿Verdad? I think it's good that we don't have to deal with our sin over and over and over. Es bueno saber que no tenemos que sentir el dolor del pasado y con la condenación del pasado una y otra vez. Amen. Amen. It's good to say. The hurts are gone because Jesus healed them. Me puedo decir que las heridas se han ido. I mean, God doesn't remember them. Porque él no lo recuerda. We'll see that in a little bit. Y vamos a ver eso un segundo. The Holy Spirit. Let me read this. It says the spirit growth is not about what we learn. Spiritual growth is not about what you learn. El el crecimiento espiritual no viene a ser acerca de lo que usted. But it's about what we remember. Es sino es lo que nosotros recordamos. And right at the right time, we need it. Y bien inmediatamente cuando nosotros lo necesitamos, el Espíritu Santo nos recuerda of the love that God has for you. el amor que Dios tiene hacia nosotros. Isn't that amazing? No es eso how we only forget how much God loves us and cares for us, but it's in that moment when we're in that that need that the Holy Spirit comes and floods our heart with peace. Y es en ese momento que el Espíritu Santo llena nuestros corazones de paz. The Holy Spirit is a reminder. Y el Espíritu Santo es el que nos recuerda. He is a counselor to remind us of what we've been through. Él es el consolador que nos recuerda por lo que nosotros hemos pasado. Not what we've been through. No que siempre hemos pasado. But how God has taken us through a situation. Pero cómo Dios nos está llevando a través de nuestra situación. Amen. Amen. I think this is going to get a little deep this morning, right? Yo pienso que esto va a ser algo más profundo. I think we need to let's get away from the basic of all oh, the Holy Spirit makes me feel have goosebumps. Y tenemos que pasar a esa área donde que sentimos que el Espíritu Santo nos hace feliz. And the Holy Spirit makes me happy. Y que me hace feliz. And we're excited with the Holy Spirit. Y nos sentimos contentos con el Espíritu Santo. And those are all good things. Esas son buenas cosas. But He does more than that. Pero él hace más que eso. Amen. He does more than that. Él hace más que eso. He's the counselor. Él es el consolador. And who's ever been to a counselor? ¿Quién ha estado con 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 alguien que le ha dado? You sit in the counselor's office. Usted se sienta en la oficina del consejero. I've been to the counseling. Yo he estado con un consejero. So you sit in the counselor's office. Y se sienta usted ahí con el consejero. And see, one of the first questions they ask you. Y una de las primeras preguntas que le pregunta él es, How do you feel? ¿Cómo usted se siente hoy? And then don't say anything else for the rest of the hour. Y él no le dice nada por el resto del tiempo que usted esté ahí. And we pay people for this. Y nosotros le pagamos a esas personas por eso. It's crazy. Es es algo una locura. But he just tells you how do you feel about that? How does that make you feel? Pero es como lo hace what, sentir. What do you think about that? And the conversation goes on and on and on. And what happens? All of a sudden, now he's you're bringing up things of how well how how do you think you're going to overcome that? Y él empieza a preguntar una vez. What are, pregunta, what are the steps you can take to uh, deal with that situation? Have you been a counselor? You know what I'm saying? Con right. Right. And then you tell that counselor y usted le dice a ese consejero, the three or four things that you're going to do to help yourself out of that situation. Just blows my mind. Eso me, me hace volar mi mente. But that's how it works. Pero eso, eso es como Because in you, Porque en usted, by the power of God, por el poder de Dios, is how you can get out of the situation. Es como usted tiene que salir de esa situación. And the Holy Spirit reminds us. Listen, another thing. Here's another thing. The saving reminder of God. Él nos recuerda. Ask God to remind you of all the things He has saved you from. Y él que le recuerde todas las cosas que lo salvó a usted. Let's turn to Psalms 103. Pasemos al Salmo. In your Bible, we're going to have we're going to go through a lot of scripture today. Not not a real lot, but a psalm. Algunas escrituras. And I'd like you to turn with me so you can see it in the Word of God. 
Psalms 103. Salmo 103. And we're going to go to verse 1 through 3. This is, a good, this is a good psalm to read when you feel like, eh, things ain't going so good. It starts off like this. It starts off, praise the Lord, all my soul, all my innermost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins Who and heals your diseases? Who redeems your life from this pit and the crowns and crowns you with love and compassion? And you go on and on and on. But I like how the psalmist started. Go ahead, I'm sorry, brother. Alaba alma mía, Señor, alabe todo mi ser su santo nombre. Alabe alma mía, Señor, y no olvide ninguno de sus beneficios. Él perdona todos tus pecados y sana todas las dolencias. So it says, remind, I, obviously the Holy Spirit is going to remind us that there's some, there are some benefits hay in God, in Dios. How many know there's some benefits for the Lord? Creen que hay there's some great benefits, benefits with God. Y hay de Amen. Amen. And he, Amen. he reminds us él nos recuerda of what He's done for us. Eh, lo que él ha hecho por nosotros. He reminds us of the righteous things that we are. Nos recuerda de la justicia que nosotros hemos hecho. What are some of the benefits that we get from the Lord? How about peace? Eh, usted se puede recordar de lo que Dios le ha dado como la paz. How about joy? Y gozo. Amen. Amen. How about the protection from God? Acerca de la protección de parte Amen. de Dios hacia nosotros. You're driving down the road. Usted va a estar manejando en su automóvil. And you don't know why. Y usted no sabe. But the Holy Spirit presses upon you. Pero el Espíritu Santo lo impresiona. To make a turn. Que usted haga un do, una doble. Or una slow doble. down your speed. O que usted vaya más despacio. And when you do. Y cuando usted lo hace. And you're obedient to that voice. Y es obediente a esa voz. You find out that there could have been a tragedy just ahead of you. Y usted se da cuenta que pudo haber ustedes and eh, pasado por una tragedia y fue evitado. It was avoided y fue evitado because you were obedient to the Holy Spirit. Usted fue obediente al Espíritu Santo. Amen. Amen. I mean, God's protection is there for you and me. And that's just la, one example. La protección de Dios está para usted y para mí. Ese es un ejemplo. Or if you, I, I had an experience. Yo he tenido experiencias. At work. En el trabajo. And I felt the Holy Spirit tell me. Y yo sentí que el Espíritu Santo me decía. That I needed to tighten up a bolt on a, a piece of equipment. Yo tenía que socar un tornillo de mi carro. And I thought to myself, yo pensé, everything's okay. Todo está bien. And then the Holy Spirit said, tighten this bolt up. Y el Espíritu Santo dijo que tenía que socar ese tornillo. A little stronger that time. Y ese más fuerte ese día. So I said, okay. Y yo dije, está bien. So I went to check the bolt on the machine. Y yo fui a chequear el tornillo. And it was really loose. Y estaba bien suelto, flojo. It could have caused a catastrophic problem. Y hubiera ocasionado muchos problemas. So I tightened it up. Yo lo apreté bien fuerte. The Holy Spirit is concerned about your safety. El Espíritu Santo Amen. está preocupado acerca de su He's seguridad. To guide you and protect you. Él está para guiarlo y protegerlo. Or like I was talking to Emily and Christopher. Y yo estaba hablando con Emily y Christopher. And there's been a lot of uh, robberies down on uh, round campus. Y ha habido muchos robos ahí por el cerca de la campus. Uh, Christopher was going down this uh, uh, road. Y Christopher estaba por esta calle. And he felt that the Holy Spirit told him. Y sintió que el Espíritu Santo le dijo. Not to go down this uh, small alley. Que no se fuera por esa parte. To go to his house. Sino para ir a su casa. I don't know what would have happened. Yo no sé lo que le hubiera pasado. But he was obedient. Pero él obedeció. Amen. Amen. He could have been robbed. He could have been killed. Robado. Something could have happened. O algo le hubiera pasado. But we need to be obedient. The Holy Spirit. Pero tenemos que ser obedientes. El Espíritu Santo. Always there to help you. Siempre está ahí para ayudarnos. The Holy Spirit is there also to remind you of God's love. Y el Espíritu Santo es el que nos recuerda del amor de Dios. The incredible love of God. Del amor de Dios. The love that we don't remember because we're so busy in our day. Del amor que a veces no nos damos cuenta porque estamos tan ocupados. The love that allowed Jesus to hang on the cross for you and me. Del amor que llevó a Jesucristo a la cruz del Calvario. He reminds us. Él nos recuerda. Constantly. Constantemente. Of the love of God. Del amor de Dios. But see, our problem is that we will not allow Pero el problema es que nosotros no le permitimos al Espíritu Santo para que haga su trabajo. Say amen or only. Diga amen. amen. We don't allow the Holy Spirit to speak in our lives. No 
permitimos que el Espíritu Santo nos hable we don't allow him to touch us when we need it. no le permitimos que nos toque to ourselves, we can handle this. y se nos yo puedo hacer esto but it's not true. pero eso no es verdad That's why God sent es por eso que Dios envió and told the disciples y le dijo a sus discípulos that he was sending to you y que le, 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 se le fue dicho a ellos to the disciples a sus discípulos and to us y a nosotros a counselor el consolador a comforter el comforter, a teacher el profesor a God el que lo guía For you and me. para usted y para mí In the Bible, there's passages and passages en la palabra del Señor en la Biblia hay pasajes y pasajes that remind us que nos recuerdan of this. I want you to turn if you will quiero que pase to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6 Capítulo 6. And verse 10. Versículo 10. Through 12. And this uh, passage was a reminder to the children of Israel. Y en este pasaje le estaban recordando a los hijos de Israel. Of God's love. El amor de Dios. Uh, let me read verse 10 through um, 12 and then pastor for you. When the Lord your God brings you into the land, he swore to your father, to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give you a land which large, flourishing, with flourishing cities you did not build, houses filled with all kinds of good things you did not, you did not, uh, you, uh, I'm sorry. Filled with all kinds of good things you did not provide, wells you did not dig, and vine, vineyards, vineyards and olive groves you did not plant. Then, when you eat and are satisfied, verse 12 says, Be careful that you do not forget the Lord who brought you out of Egypt, out of the land of slavery. El Señor tu Dios te hará entrar en la tierra que les curó a tus antepasados, Abraham, Isaac y Jacob. Es una tierra con ciudades grandes y prósperas que tú no edificaste, con casas llenas de todas clases de bienes que tú no acumulaste, con cisternas que no cavaste y con viñas y olivares que no plantaste. Cuando comas de ellas y te sacies, cuídate de no olvidarte del Señor que te sacó de Egipto y la tierra donde viviste. Amen. And the last verse Paul says again, be careful that you do not forget. Y el versículo dice, dice, ten cuidado de que no te olvides. So he's telling the children of Israel, y le está diciendo a los hijos de Israel, after he brought them out of the land of slavery, después que los trajo del de la don't forget, de, no se olviden, who brought you out. quién los sacó afuera. And what happened? ¿Y qué pasó? They forgot. Y se olvidaron. They started worshiping other gods. Y ellos empezaron a adorar a otros dioses. They Dios. started uh, doing the, the rituals that the other religions do. Y empezaron a hacer los rituales de otras religiones. And forgot. Y se olvidaron what God did for them. que lo que Dios hizo por ellos. How many of us ¿Cuántos de nosotros forget? nos olvidamos? I don't know why that happens. Yo no sé por qué sucede. We forget nos olvidamos. What happened ¿Qué pasó? We first believed. Cuando empezamos a creer. We forget how our life was so much a ruin and, and how difficult it was. And then we, that first moment we believed we knew everything in our past Was take care of. Y nos olvidamos de, la, de las cosas, de las That's, cosas que pasamos y lo que Dios puede hacer por nosotros. That's why God said. Y es por eso que Dios dijo. To preach the gospel. Que predicar el evangelio. Don't preach about healing. No predicas el evangelio. Don't preach about all the things. No predicas el evangelio. But remind yourself. Pero don't forget, forget no what God Dios. did for you. Lo que Dios hizo por ti. And when we don't forget, there's some benefits. Y hay beneficios. The vineyards and houses and well and even Matthew tells us that we have clothes and food and a place to stay. Mateo nos dice que la, la ropa, casa y todo eso será proveído. You know what I think God is asking us to do? Y lo único que Dios nos está pidiendo is don't forget. Es que no nos olvidemos. Who did it for you? ¿Quién lo hizo por nosotros? Who gave you what you have? ¿Quién le dio lo que usted ahora tiene? I was thinking to this week I was preparing for this. Yo estaba pensando cuando estaba preparando este mensaje. Uh, How some of us Como de that are sitting here today que estamos sentados aquí, that live in a place que vivimos, vivimos en un lugar that's very difficult to have things. Difícil de tener cosas. And then you come to America, y venimos a America get a job y conseguimos un trabajo, get a house y compramos una casa, have a nice car tenemos un carro bonito, have nice clothes tenemos ropa bonita, and then we forget God. Y nos olvidamos acerca de Dios. 
Amen. Come on. Amen. Don't shout me down when I'm speaking the truth now. No, quiero que me corte cuando estoy predicando la verdad. In America, in the, America, the same thing. Lo mismo sucede. We get things. Damos and cosas. More. Y queremos más. Nicer car. Queremos un carro mejor. Nicer cell phone. Queremos un celular mejor. New iPads. Tenemos una mejor un computadora. New computer. Más una otra computadora. More and more más and more. Y más y más. And then soon. Y pronto. In our lives. En nuestras vidas. We forget. Nos olvidamos. Who brought us out? Que nos trajo afuera. Into this land of plenty. En esta tierra que tiene. And that's why. Es por eso. We struggle today es que in our relationship with God, in our relationship with each other, and we forget what God calls us out of. Acts 2, 42. <coughs> the church family gathered together and la, divided for everybody that had needs. La familia de Cristo se unió para obeying what the apostles taught, y obedecieron lo que los they fellowship together, les y tuvieron, eh, and, al Señor juntos. and the word of God spread throughout the land. Y la palabra del Señor se, 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 se pasó a otras ciudades. Believers, creyentes, hoy. God wants us not to forget. Dios no quiere que usted se olvide. Our purpose, nuestro propósito, for gathering together, por el cual nosotros nos reunimos. To glorify Jesus, es para glorificar a Cristo. And make Him known. Y hacer que sea conocido. The world around us. Y el mundo alrededor de nosotros. Hallelujah. Let's look at another passage. Um, when you forget, let's look at uh, Jeremiah 3:21. Jeremiah is past Proverbs going towards the New Testament, past Isaiah, and you find Jeremiah. This is what happens when we forget. The cries heard on the barren heights and weeping and the pleading of the people of Israel because they had perversed their ways and had forgotten the Lord their God. Se escucha un grito en las lomas estériles, la súplica angustiosa del pueblo de Israel, porque han pervertido su conducta y se han olvidado del Señor su Dios. In the in the NIV, in the NIV, it uses the word perverse. It means pero tú usas la palabra pervertido. That they didn't do what they were supposed to. That they were they they just did their own thing in their own way and forgot. No hicieron lo que Dios les había hecho, sino que hicieron lo lo que Dios les plació hacer. What God did for them. Y se olvidaron lo que Dios hizo. And I think believers today forget. Yo creo que los creyentes. What God does, we kind of do church and Christianity the way we want to do it. Y los cristianos nos hemos olvidado de hacer nuestra cristiandad. Eh, no de la manera que Dios quiere sino de nuestra manera But when we get lost in that, y cuando nos perdemos en eso we have to remember necesitamos recordar that the Holy Spirit que el Espíritu Santo nos ha traído de nuevo a la verdad Amen. 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 Listen, I want to look at the, another group of guys I forgot. Uh, I love this story Mark chapter 8 go to turn there if you will Marcos capítulo 8 You know, these guys walked with Jesus, ate with Jesus, see miracles and miracles, and all of a sudden they forgot. Este hombre caminó con Jesús, comió con Jesús, hicieron muchas cosas, y al final se olvidó de what God did for them. Dios hizo por él. Here in Mark chapter 8, um, let's go with verse 14. Y vamos a leer el versículo 14. Now, right before this, let me set this up. Right before this, Jesus fed... 5,000 people. Antes And then we know also that Jesus fed 4,000 people. So here's the disciples. The disciples had forgotten. Look at verse 14. The disciples had forgotten to bring bread except for one loaf they had with them in the boat. They were in the boat with Jesus. It's, um, be careful, Jesus warned them. Watch out for the yeast of the Pharisees. And that of Herod, verse 16. They discussed this with one another and said, It is because we have no bread. Jesus said this. See, they forgot. He's telling them something besides, something spiritual right now about the yeast. And they're bringing it back to the natural again. Aware of their discussion, Jesus asked them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you not still see or un understand? 
as your hearts are hard, are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes but fail to see, and ears but fail to hear? And don't you remember when I broke the five loaves of for and for the five thousand? How many baskets of pieces of bread did you pick up? The twelve answered, and I think it kind of said it like this: um, It said, "How many how many pieces of bread they picked up?" And they said, "Like." Uh, uh, well, he said, "Cuántas canastas de recogieron ustedes?" He said, "Like well, twelve." Bueno, yo creo que 12 canastas. And when I broke the seven loaves of bread for the five for the four thousand, how many baskets of um, pieces did you pick up? And they kind of answered seven. Ellos respondieron siete. He said to them, "Do you still not understand?" So here the disciples forgot again. Y aquí los discípulos se olvidaron de nuevo. What Jesus had provided, and that's what happens to us. Jesús había proveído por ellos y eso no sucede. That we easily sabes. forget. Y a veces nos olvidamos fácilmente. When God provided for us, cuando Dios provee para nosotros, in the past, He will pasado. continue to provide for you in the future. future. Psalm, Psalm 39, 25 says. Psalm 39. I've never, well, it's not here on the outline. It says, I was young and now I'm old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. Come on, you say amen. Amen. Don't forget. No se olvide, no puede leer eso en Salmo 39, 25. We, the Lord says that you, the children of God, el Señor dice que los hijos de Dios, should always remember, deberían recordarse, and that he'll always provide for you what you need. Lo que usted necesita. It says, the, the, I was young, when I was young, the writer writes, y dice, yo era joven, and now that he's old, ahora ya estoy viejo, I have ¿no? never seen yo nunca he visto the righteous forsaken justo que sea olvidado, or their children bringing for bread. O que sus hijos estén pan. So I kind of, I'm kind of one of those guys that believe the word of God. Yo soy de aquellos que creen la palabra de Dios. So if I don't forget what He's provided for me, pero si yo no olvido lo que él, He'll si provide that for my children. Si yo no me olvido lo que él ha proveído para mí, yo lo voy a olvidar. Él va a proveer para mí. The blessing of God is for generation after generation after generation for those who follow Him. La bendición del Señor es de generación en generación. Amen. Come on, He provides for you everything that you need. Él provee para usted todo lo que usted necesita. Well, Pastor, I don't have an iPhone five. Y dice el pastor, pero yo no tengo una iPhone 5. <laughs> Maybe I might not need that. O posiblemente no necesito eso. But it gives you peace of mind. Pero le da paz en su mente. Provide for your family. Provee para su familia. Provide a home. Provee su casa. Amen. How many need a vehicle? How many have vehicles and you get them? Amen. How many have a car? ¿Cuántos de ustedes tienen un carro? How many have two cars? ¿Cuántos tienen dos carros aquí? You know, you're better than 90% of the people in the rest of the world. Ustedes están el están mejor que el 90% de la población mundial. Alabense por eso. God has given us plenty here. Porque Dios nos ha dado lo suficiente. Let's remember. Recordemos His benefits. Sus beneficios. Don't forget. No se olvide. God gave us Holy Spirit. He, God gave the Holy Spirit a job. Dios le dio el Espíritu Santo a Job. And the job is to remind us what God's done for us. Y nos recuerda lo que Dios hizo por nosotros. It's not to remember our sin. Y no es para recordar los pecados. It's not to remember what we did wrong. No es para recordar lo que usted hizo mal. But it's to remind us. Pero es para recordarle what Jesus did for us. Lo que Jesús hizo por usted. I love singing that song, Jesus. Jesus. Yo amo esa ese canto que dice Jesus. 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 We're not singers either, so. Nosotros cantamos. Some have skills to sing and I don't. Algunos tienen. But I love singing. I love worshiping Jesus. Pero yo amo adorar al Señor. Amen. Amen. I love I love to worship the Lord. Yo amo adorar al Señor. Because when I am when I'm standing here. Cuando yo estoy parado aquí. And I close my eyes and I raise my hands. In my mind, in mi mente, I see Jesus on the cross. Yo sí, yo veo en la cruz. I see his nails hard hands and yo I see his sus feet. Lados, eh, sus manos y sus pies. I see his beaten body. I see the cross of the Lord. Sido golpeado. And I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Y lo que quiero decirle, Señor, gracias. That's why I love worship. Es por eso que yo amo adorar, Señor. I want. I just see him in my mind's eye. I see him in my mind's eye. 
And sometimes we sing fast songs, and sometimes we sing slow songs. Sometimes we have a whole band up here. Sometimes we don't. You know, it really doesn't matter to me because I'm worshiping Jesus. In my heart, I just want to thank Him and give Him 20 minutes of time here in this worship service to honor Him. Amen. Today, I want you to remember what He did for you. Lo que hizo por so you don't have to remember Para que usted no tenga que your past. Su pasado. Yeah. Amen. Because yeah. it's the enemy of God El enemigo de Dios. and your enemy y su enemigo. that always que siempre brings up le trae what you did before. Lo que usted hizo antes. And it's the Holy Spirit's job. Y es el trabajo del Espíritu As I said Santo. earlier, you're, Como a lo dije yo temprano, you're administrative assistant. Usted es el asistente administrativo. To remind you para recordarle of your righteousness. Eso de lo justo que usted ha hecho, la justicia que usted ha hecho. To remind you that you are sons. <laughs> para recordarle que usted es hijo. And daughters of the Most High God. Y hija de Dios todopoderoso. Right. To remind yes, yes. To remind you that you're special in the eyes of God. Para que usted es especial en los ojos de Dios. And no matter what happened in the past, y no importa lo que haya pasado en el pasado, or even what happened yesterday, o lo que le sucedió ayer, God's forgiveness flows to you. De Dios fluye a través de usted toda God is compassionate towards us. Dios tiene compasión hacia nosotros. He loves you. Él nos ama. He loves you. Él nos ama. Let's look at uh, a couple more passages. We close. It's going to be in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 43. Verse 15 through 17. It says, Who draws out the chariots and the horses, the armies of the reinforcements together, and they lay there never to rise again, extinguishing stuffed out like a wick. Verse 18, Forget the former things. Do not dwell in the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? It says, The Lord is doing this. The Lord is doing a new thing. Do you put that up there? Y lo, puede, y lo puede leer del versículo 14 hasta el 18. Ahí me sale el 43. Forget, it says, verse 18. Forget the former things. Dice, olvídese de las cosas que pasaron. Yeah, it circles in your Bible, highlight it. Quiero que ponga ahí una marca ahí en su pasado. Forget the former things. Do not dwell in the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Olvide las cosas de antaño y ya no vivan en el pasado. The Lord wants to do a new thing in your heart today. El Señor quiere hacer algo nuevo en su corazón. If you're a believer here today, si usted es un creyente hoy, by the Holy Spirit, por el Espíritu Santo, God wants to remind you, Dios le quiere recordar, of your righteousness, de la justicia, not the righteousness that you've earned, but the righteousness Jesus Christ gave you. No de la justicia que usted ha ganado, pero la que le dio Dios. Que lo haga, que le haga, eso lo hace hijo de Dios. That means you're good. Huh? Eso quiere decir que usted es bueno, ¿verdad? That means God loves you. Que Dios lo ama y que se preocupa por usted. If you're here today and you're not a believer, y si usted está aquí hoy y usted no es un creyente, the Holy Spirit wants to remind you el Espíritu Santo quiere recordarle that no matter what happens, que no importa lo que haya pasado, no matter what you did, no importa lo que usted haya hecho, no matter what you've been involved in, no importa lo que usted haya estado en cuenta, God's forgiveness is for you also. El perdón de Dios está ahí para usted. And He loves you. Y él lo ama. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the gospel that message that we should send to the world. Ese es el mensaje que deberíamos mandar a la tierra. For many years, por muchos años, I have to confess. Yo tengo que confesar. For many years, por muchos años, I would remind people, yo le recordaba a la gente, of how bad they were. Cómo eran tan malos ellos. With the hope, con la esperanza, of them coming to Jesus. De que ellos vinieran a Jesucristo. It's the wrong way to speak the message. Es la manera errónea de llevar el mensaje. Es el mensaje. It's not the truth. Es no es la verdad. God, love, Dios, ama, is greater, is más grande than anything that anybody's ever done. Que cualquier cosa que alguna persona haya hecho en esta tierra. And we need to tell people. Y necesitamos decirle a las personas. There's a hope. Que hay esperanza. 
In Jesus. En Jesucristo. Aleluya. 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 Let me just say this last statement as we get ready to close. Peter, would you come to the piano and uh, we have is Richard downstairs? Uh, Richard, would you come and uh, be ready to pray? Do you have somebody to pray for your, your church with your church family? Um, Let's come. Yeah, I can. Can Astrid, would you come and pray for the ladies? Hallelujah. We want to give you an opportunity before the end of the service here. If you're struggling with your identity with God, if you have like um, uh, this guilt because of whatever you're going through, si usted tiene esta por algo que usted está pasando, I'm telling you, it's not, it's not from God. We want to pray for you. No es de Dios eso. Queremos orar por ustedes We hoy. want to take that guilt away. Y queremos que esa condenación salga de usted hoy. The Bible says if you're sick, y él dice que si usted está in enfermo, the book of James, y el, el libro you should call for the elders of the church and they'll lay hands on you and they'll pray for you. Y vamos a orar por ustedes. It says if there's any sin in your life, y si hay pecado en su vida. Now this is the word of God. Come on. Y esta es la palabra del Señor. Vamos. God can forgive those sins. Dios puede perdonar esos pecados. And heal your body. Y sanar su cuerpo. Then you can. Amen. Let me say this statement, last statement for you. It's in the bottom of your handout. It says, God doesn't convict believers of their shame. Dios no convict, trae convicción a los pecadores de su vergüenza. But he reminds us Pero le recuerda of our righteousness. De la justicia. If, you don't, if you're having struggles with remembering who you are in God, we want to pray for you also. Don't walk around defeated anymore. Don't let the spirit of discouragement come on. Don't let disappointments come on. You are a child of the Most High God. And God wants you to be free from that. In the name of Jesus, let's stand together. Let's sing that song, Jesus, Jesus. I'm not going to sing it, but go ahead. Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Come on. Wow. Hallelujah. You need prayer today? Hallelujah. As Tina starts singing the song, I want you to come. You know, give us this oración. You struggle with your, your identity with God. You're, you're saying, I don't feel righteous. I don't feel good. I don't feel like the Holy Spirit is talking to me. I have trouble listening to God. But I want to hear the voice of God today. I want to know He's real. You need to come this morning. Come right now. I see you.